Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my journals, plural. As you can see here, I have more than one journal. I've been using two. Um, this one, which is the new one that I want to show a little bit more in this video, is um, what I've been calling my secret journal, if you follow me on Instagram. But this is in fact a personal journal where I put more of my thoughts. And this one that you guys already know, well, this is Oreo. This is my Hobonichi cousin, which has been my family journal and memory keeper. And here I put a lot of the things related to my family, things that are going on with our son and things that we did together. So today I wanna to focus on this one. Well, I'm gonna do a flip of both, but I wanna show more about this one. So this journal is uh, Astrology in a six size and i've been writing in it i think since november we're gonna see when i flip it i just got this cover from sojourner and i'm extremely happy with it and i'm i've been like really in love with this brand the cover is super pretty this is my second cover from sojourner i showed you another video with this one that is in fact was my first so in here i have my hobonichi original which is my work planner what is different about this one is that this one is a trifold. So it has here, you, you have these three sizes that fold together and they kind of give like a hug in your book. It's, it, it's really like, it feels really good and soft. So this leather is a little different than the other ones that I got. This is a stag leather with a special brown pocket and this is again the scoop pocket so this is just the format of the pocket the stag leather is a little bit more um stiff let's say than the solomon which is this one that i got that is thinner both are great and i wanted to try this type of leather too they call this a pull-up leather the leather can when you roll it or when you pull it it will like get some marks and it will, the colors will get a little different, which I think it's very nice and charming. The funny, well, now it's funny because I have it in my hands, but the interesting thing about this cover is that the cover had to endure such a long journey to get here to me in Canada. It's staying customs for, I think, about a month. And my package came in and it was open by the border. So there was like a a tape saying that it was opened by the border. Uh, so I don't know why they wanted to look inside of my cover, but the cover I make here and it's really nice. So inside you have a, in, you have pockets inside in both sides and I really like it because I haven't put anything yet, but I can have some stickers in that I might use here in my journal. Um, I did put a pen loop on this one. I didn't put on the other one because in the other one I made this kind of little thing here with this folder that it has a pen loop where I put the, the pen in. And I kind of like the way that it has because I can hold a couple more sticky notes and things uh, to take to work. So this one, I put this pen loop here from, um, I think this is from the Traveler's Company. And I have this pen. This is a Unijetstream F series and it's a multi-pen. And I put a 0 0.38 refill. So I have the refill in here because I know I'm going to get questions about it. This refill is different from the ones that you can put in the Sarasa Grand in the cleaner just because this is not a clicker. This is a multi-pen. So this is the refill. I got it from Amazon US uh, because if I would get from Amazon Canada, it would have been more expensive and it, took, and it would take more time. So I got it from Amazon US and it comes in a package of 10 and you even get some um, tiny like sticky notes, so I really like it. And this is the same refill if you also want to put in the Hobonichi pen. So in fact, that's why I got it because my Hobonichi uh, pens were running out of ink and it also fits on this one. Well, all of them are uh, Unijet stream. They're just like, they have different barrels, let's say, different pen bodies, but they're all the same. So that's why I got a bunch of them. And yeah, those are the ones that I'm using. And here, as you can see, I have this cute little monster. This is from Courtney Diaz. So I've been um, 
how do you say it? Yuzaina, Yuzain, but I'm a Patreon now for I think four different artists. So last year I canceled all my subscription boxes because, well, I was just not using most of the products. So that was reason number one. And then number two, to be honest, the boxes were taking too long to get here. I know it was a complicated year for parcels to travel around, but it was getting a little bit ridiculous and to be honest, a little bit expensive. So I decided to have Patreons and support um, talented artists, artists that have like really cute printables. Uh, I do have one that sends physical items, which is the one from Cheryl at, with woven flax. And she's all the way in Singapore, so like far away from me here in Canada. But she uh, she was able to get a good deal and... The packages arrive pretty like decently from her and I get some printed uh, stickers, but she also has uh, only a uh, tier for printables. So this is from Courtney Diaz. I have one from Shada Campbell and another one from, uh, I forgot the name, but I've, I'm going to put it in the description box. So those are four that I get a lot of printables and I can just print the stickers I want and the paper I want. I can change size and I mean, it just works better. Um, yeah, I find it cheaper and a direct way to support them as well and to get the pretty stuff. So what I did here, I print in paper, I laminate it, and then I cut with my silhouette. So that's why this shape is, is looking pretty nice. So I saw this, all the art from Courtney Diaz uh, first at Quoth the Crow. Jackie has... Um, a lot of cute stuff on her planners. I'm gonna link her channel below. She has like a lot of different and amazing journals and planners and her layouts are so nice and colorful. And to my surprise, I'm really loving it right now. Um, I'm a little bit more neutral, but especially in this journal where I put a lot of my family things, I'm enjoying having all those different colors and the tiny monsters. I really love it. Okay, so in this journal here, which is more personal, because I want to have a place to have more of my thoughts and maybe reflect on things. And I don't want to get it too much mixed up with um, memories from my family. That's all. I just wanted a place where I can just ramble about things that happen at work or with me and what am I stressing about something or just like plans and things that I want to do in the future that won't really fit on my planner as much. And just because I love writing, maybe you might be thinking, why do you need to journals? Maybe you don't. Um, but I love, I love to write and I love to have a separate space just for my thoughts. And that's why I got this cover because I feel like it looks so cute and it protects my thoughts. That's what it is. So the way I'm writing, um, using it is very simple, although this looks like very... <laughs> like extra so this is a dashboard with a lot of stickers and this has been um some exercise from the challenge that adakshina and ellie at ellie's corner they created just to encourage people to use their own stash go through your samplers leftovers of kits and just use them all so this is what this dashboard is about and as you guys know i love blue so i just decided to start with this one I'm using some calendars that are freebies from Sterling Inc. And what I'm doing here, I'm just marking and I'm just crossing which days I, I journal in. Um, just because, yeah, there is no reason. I don't have an index, although I'm just writing uh, the pages that I'm in for each month. So I started in November. So then I wrote page 1 to 30 was November and then 31 to 66 December. And so it goes. But it's more for me maybe to find things. So here is another dashboard for December. I think I put my calendar a little after that. Um, where is it? Or even before, or before. Yeah, so here's December. I marked again the days that I'm in. And January, I did the same. Although in the first weeks of January, I wasn't journaling as much. There was a yeah, it was some stressful time and then I wasn't writing a lot. But basically, it's just pen. Sometimes I put stickers. Sometimes I put some washi tapes. It's just for me to have a spot to write whatever is in my mind. I'm using some stamps too. So this has been really fun and I'm really loving it. This cover is still a little um, super new. And I think the leather will work a little bit around the cover. But I am really loving it. I have here also... Um, this um 
clip, like magnetic clip. And I have it here because sometimes you see the pages will like flip back. And then I just use this to hold the pages. And I got this from Laurie, from my friend Laurie at LB Faves on Instagram. I also put her uh, handle below if you guys want to check her account. And this monster, in fact, I saw on at Stacy's Plants on Instagram. And she has a super nice account uh, showing her journals and how she's journaling. And I do encourage you to check her out because she does like a different way of writing things on her page. And it might give you some ideas on how to utilize the paper um, even more. So let me show you how my cousin is going. So I still have some washi tapes and stickers in here. So this is the same cover that as I was using last year. I really love this cover and I think it's super pretty. So I just removed the one from 2020 and put in the 2021. Um, here I have a sticker. This is from Wool with Wool and Flags from Cheryl. I'm not doing anything with this calendar. I didn't even do anything last year either. This time, instead of being indexing what I'm writing about, because this journal, it's about my family and basically what happened with my son, activities we did with him, how he's developing, funny things he said, and things like this. So I decided just to do a gratitude journal. So here's just what I'm grateful for. Here, I'm just writing like highlights of the month related to my son, like funny things he did, things that happened. And um, if I have a picture of one of those moments, I'm going to put the picture here. Oops. So this is what I want to do with this page. Then starting the month, I'm using the same way as I was using before. I'm putting one sticker that represents a highlight of the day and I just write it down. This helps me in case I didn't journal on that day. So I can just look back here or look back in the gratitude and write about it. The difference of this with the personal journal, apart from this being for more fam family related things and this being whatever thought is, thoughts I have in my mind, I'm making an effort to be here every day if I make the time for it because it does help me to put me in the good mindset and to think about something positive. So I'm also exercising gratitude and like if I have a, a negative thought or if something negative happened and made me sad or stressed, I want to just like acknowledge the thought, but also let it go and reflect. Can I do something about it? If I can, then I want to do it. I want to reflect what I can do and to do it. But if I cannot do it, you know, this is not related to me, then I just wanted to let it go and I don't want it to affect me as much. And I want to maybe think, what can I learn from it? Is there something positive about it? Or can I think about something positive to take this out of my mind? So I'm making the time to be in here every day. It doesn't matter what time. It doesn't matter for how long. It could be 10 minutes in the morning, five minutes before I go to bed or during my lunchtime, especially when I'm working from home, it's easier to find five minutes, 10 minutes here and there to do it. Um, so it's been helping a lot. I know that maybe you think, oh, maybe I don't have time to do it. But uh, let me tell you that if you if you enjoy something, if something brings you peace, joy, and it's good for your health, make the time to do it. It could be like, make the time to do your vitamin, make the time to, I don't know, take all your pills, make the time to do yoga, make the times to go to go and walk outside and take some natural light, make the time to play the guitar if you like, or make the time to make your nails if you like. Just make the time to do anything that, you know, really makes you happy and makes you feel good about yourself. And in some cases, to me, is writing. This is really something that I love. And is also playing with my son, talking to my husband. So there are numerous of things that you could think about it. But I really enjoy reflecting and writing down. So I'm making an effort and making the time to write in my journal every day because I really like it. And in this one, I don't really come here every day. So it really depends. Also, because in this one, I am um, allowing myself to use a lot more of my stickers and doing some collages because I feel like it's a fun time. I like to come here and write about good things that happened, fun things that we did. And so I, I want to make the time for it. So it's a little different in the journal. Um, this normally I'm here on weekends 
and sometimes I'm just sitting here on my desk watching videos and I'm watching a lot of Emily Luard's videos. I love her videos, she's super fun and it gives us a lot of inspiration uh, to make collages and how to, you know, just put everything on the paper and it looks so amazing and an explosion of colors at the end. Sometimes I journal downstairs on the floor or on the kitchen table with my son. He loves drawing and he tells me, mom, grab your book and let's draw. <laughs> and then he's drawing in, her no in his notebook and I'm just journaling, writing, putting stickers on. So it's been something that we created together and he appreciated this time with me and I appreciate so much to be with him in this time as well. So it's been fun, but it's not every day and that's okay. It's whenever we have the time to because it's not only grabbing the small thing and, you know, and writing. It's really like taking tons of stickers and washi tape. So it requires a little bit more of space and time. And here we have the weekly spreads. And basically, I when I'm feeling like it, I just grab some stickers and I write things that happen during the day. Um, it, they, the things that I put here, they do overlap sometimes with things that happen in the daily pages, but I don't really, um, bother too much about it. I tend to write a lot about work on these pages just because the space is a little, it's smaller, so I can just quickly write about things that happen. I do go to my Hobonichi weeks to remember what exactly happened on this day if I didn't write anything. So this is my Hobonichi weeks. So I just come here every day and I know what were the most important things that I have to do in each day. So even if I do this like two weeks later or more, I will have a register, I will have it registered somewhere uh, about happens so I can just do it. And again, it's just a fun way to use my stickers. It relaxed me, I really like it. So these stickers, they are from With Wu and Flags, this Patreon for Cheryl. Here, the stickers are from the Coffee Monsters Co. This week, I didn't do anything. It was a week that I was a little bit stressed and then I just wasn't feeling and I was in the mood. Maybe I'll go back and write it, maybe not. And that's fine. It's, um, as I keep telling you, it's okay if you skip, you know, a week or two or whatever. It's, it's like Sylvia says, is it's not that serious, you know, like you guys do it when you're feeling like it and that's fine. This week, I wasn't feeling, I didn't do it. So I started um, to do this past week. I didn't finish. Uh, so as you can see here, I stopped in the weekend because I was doing this on a Saturday. And I did this all and I have to finish. This week was a little better. And I wanted to use the Coffee Monsters Co. new washi tapes and all the stickers. It looks pretty cute. So let's go into the daily pages. And it's a little different how things are going this year. It's a lot more colorful. Um... So here again, I have this dashboard and I thought I would do like once a month, but I think I'll just leave this one here as um, a cover because blue is my favorite color and I really love the way that this thing turned out. And here I found the sticker that said the good stuff. So I have in here all my favorite things. And here I just created like this inspirational board or mood board that says make yourself proud. And I just wrote a couple of things that I want this year to be about. So this was nice to take the time to reflect on that. Um, this page, I just, I'm just i just writing a couple memories, like one entry per day. If I remember something that I'm like, oh, I don't want to forget about this because I want to journal about this. So I just write one sentence. Um, if I run out of space, because this is only January, I could just tip in another page in here. So as you can see in here, there's a little bit more color than what I used to do before. So this is from Courtney Diaz and I decided to put pictures. So this is the day that we went to a park to play in the snow. It's been snowing a lot more um, this month. So there's a lot of pictures. Here's just a lot of writing with stickers and washi tapes. So this is how I've been using it. And yeah, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm making an effort to put some pictures and also to put some drawings. So this is a drawing that my son did about Christmas. Um, he, this year, oh, last year, he really enjoyed Christmas a lot more than the previous years. He's four now. And then he did this drawing and this is Santa, the reindeer, and this is our house. So this is him waking up and this is me here standing up, open my arms like, ta-da, Santa came and all the gifts under the tree. Uh, I let him pick the washi tapes that he wanted. So 
So I really enjoy putting these drawings here to remember. And now that I'm here telling you about what it was, it brings me this happiness again just by looking at it. But originally this page had nothing in. I didn't write anything in it and then I decided to put the drawing here. So you can do that as well. If you don't write in a certain page, it's fine. But then maybe afterwards, if you find a collage or a drawing or I don't know, a um, postcard or a letter that you receive from a friend or a card, you can just come in and put here. And here did the same. I didn't have anything in this page. But then when I was journaling on these days, I think I did a couple of these days at once. It was like one weekend and I was watching a bunch of uh, videos from Emily Lewis and I really love it. I had this from the Hobonichi and I just cut it and I put it in here because I, I felt like this is so pretty. I don't want to forget about it. So I just put it in here and here I have a couple more pictures and stickers. I was using some stamps and here didn't finish. So uh, this I started in the morning when I was working from home and then I will finish later. Some of the stickers and things, sometimes I put them coordinating like if it's a page, I like them for some reason to be similar, you see? So this I'm doing in advance, like when I'm, I think I was finishing this one here and then I just put already these two here and then I put this two because I knew that we will have brunch. So I know that this color would go well. And I got this from my friend Deborah at, um, at Plans with Deborah, I'll put her Instagram handle below. She always, uh, not always, but she's been doing this to prepare her journal so that you are sure that you are using the stickers that you want to, especially if you have some seasonal ones. I think that would be would be a nice thing to do uh, is to put them in advance if you have the time or if you like to. And I, uh, yeah, and I enjoy doing that because then I didn't forget to use them. So yeah, so this is how I'm using this journal. I keep a couple more of the stickers and collages here in the back so that I don't forget to use them. And the pen that I'm writing is the Unijet string that comes with the Hobonichi, but in fact, I changed the refill to 0 0.38, like I showed in the other one. So yeah, so this is how I've been using my journals and I absolutely love this little cute new cover from Sojourner. And it's been fun. And journaling is really something that I've been loving since last year. I think last year I started a little stronger and now I decided to just do as well a bit more of memory keeping for my family, adding photos and adding the drawings and having all those memories in one place, but also having a tiny journal just for me. Uh, let me know if you also journal, if you have a different type of journal, if you have only a gratitude journal, maybe I'd love to know which planners or notebooks that you use. I've been checking on a lot of accounts for journaling, especially the ones that do a lot of creative journaling with arts and collages and tip ends. I've been enjoying this a lot just to, you know, get a little bit more creative and have fun with all the stationery. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.